Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about my pre-release, what I enjoyed, and to highlight kind of a problem with pre-release. So midnight pre-release is always the most fun one. That's the only one I really try to go to. I, I either try to do all five or just to do midnight. It is 4.46 a.m., had a blast. I did not do that well, but I stayed because they had raffles at the end and the raffle prizes were pretty good. It was about 60 people. I did not go to one that was the closest to me. I went to one that was actually up north and I live in Humble. So there's not many of them to north. I had a great time. But I do want to talk about the smell. So this was the first time I went to this particular store. I follow them on social media. So I see they're really, I saw them posting and I called in advance to make sure that if I drove all the way there, I could get a spot. Really friendly community. 60 people were there, but probably 50 players. And it was all males, right? So... I don't know about the female population and that it's a new area to me. I didn't want to go to the same places I've always gone to because as the channel gets a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger, I don't actually want to be identified at a magic event. Um, I would rather just play, go home, and that's that. It was very smelly. Um, it was probably the... So in Houston right now, it has it is cool, so you can always go outside. But wow, it was a very tight space, probably around twelve hundred square feet, maybe maybe fifteen hundred square feet, and to put that many people in such a tight, they also sell board games, and they really cram the board games in as well, and Warhammer. So. I don't know if they do a lot of magic. They didn't have that many singles. Uh, they did have a, a few masterpieces. I bought one Wasteland masterpiece for a pretty good price. But uh, they didn't really have any standard singles. I'm assuming it is just a... The pre-release went very well. To get 50 or 60 people at an event like that in a small space, that's pretty good. So kudos on the store. It was managed well. Uh, there were some issues with timing. Like people really didn't. I would probably say most people were new or half the players seemed kind of newish. So they took forever to build decks. But definitely the most smelly place I've ever been to. I was towards 2 a.m., 3 a.m., you know, people were sweating, people, you could see the sweat stains, the armpit stains. Um, they, we had a, what was it? It was not Popeye's, a Whataburger. It was a Whataburger, but people were eating chicken. And so it was very greasy. So it just felt the playmats were all greasy. And I took my new playmat with me and I felt, I actually put it in my bag because I was like, okay, I'm not going to get grease on my new playmat. So, uh, good event, but I do wish it was cleaner. Um, the previous store I went to was very clean and very spacious. Like, it had a lot of room. Uh, they no longer carry magic, so that is unfortunate. And they no longer do pre-releases because, again, they don't carry magic. I did like the community. Everyone, I bought my Mount Modern deck. I did not bring my ED8 deck. I thought I had... I thought it was in the bag, but it was not. The place was not a Pokemon stop, so that was a, ugh, a little bit of a negative. Um, and it was the first time I went up there. But I, I had a pretty good time. Now let me uh, focus on kind of the smell. Hygiene is definitely an issue. And it's not an issue just for like women in magic. I feel like it's an issue for everybody in magic. It's hard to, because you come off as a jerk if you tell someone, hey, brush your teeth, hey, here, use some deodorant, use some body spray. But yeah, it's actually necessary. 
it's something where I I think if it's a small, especially a pre-release, it's a small space with a lot of people crammed up. Um, it is warm. People are sweating, and it's for a long period of time. You do get a very funky smell. So I went there around 11 a.m. to kind of check out the area, play a few games of modern. Then around midnight was when we got our packs, and then it took forever. I don't know why it took 90 minutes for people to build decks, but that's what it took. And then we started playing around, I want to say, 1.30, which was super late. Was that right? 12 to 1. Yeah, one thirty. It took about 90 minutes for people to build decks. And then a lot of people after the first round dropped out. And at the end of the day, it was I, I did not expect such a high turnout for pre-release. I've seen pre-release turnout go down and down and down. So it's really a positive sign to see it go up. But man, I mean, oh, I'll show you my deck a little later today i'm going to obviously take a nap after this but i did want to mention that yeah it was the smelliest pre-release i've ever been to uh, the most body odor and it, it's you know some simple stuff can make it more of a pleasant experience uh, this has been a store i've wanted to go to for a long time uh, mainly because i've heard good things about it on social media they don't really do a good job updating social media, but the reviews are good. Plus, it's kind of an out-of-the-way store, which I was assuming would have really good single deals, but they didn't have that many singles to begin with. So I was going to try to buy out as many masterpieces as I could, but they didn't really have a great selection. And the wasteland I got was, it was a good price, but it wasn't like pre-spike price, right? I think I do feel like had the pre-release had more space and the community members done a little bit jo better job in hygiene, it would have been a much better experience. I, however, you know, I've been to some really nice stores uh, in Houston before. Uh, very clean, very friendly. Everything is super nice. This the community is really great on this store. But man, it was smelly. Uh, it was very smelly. And then there was this one player. I didn't play him. And he wasn't even a good player. He was, I think, a new new player. And he took off his shoes, which in a small room is just gross. Like, it is very gross. Oh, also, side topic. There was this player who had interesting anime sleeves and you can probably imagine why insert you know i'm just very tired insert different word for interesting and you would get a controversy but no one i didn't play him no one seemed to mind he played he was staying there the whole time i think the event uh, i left once the event ended um and then normally if i know someone in the store i'll go get ihop but i didn't know anyone so i just went straight home I made my video. I will make my deck tomorrow when I wake up, probably around like noon. And it was like very good. I, I was very shocked at how many people turned out. Far more than I would have imagined. I was also very shocked by how smelly it was. This is the smelliest store I've ever been to. And it's a combination of pre-release and the fact that there were just so many people in a small space and then one individual took off his, his uh, shoes. But that is my pre-release report. I do have some prize packs, which I did not win. I purchased them for, quote, store credit, end quote. So I do have some packs to open on the channel, which will be fun for you guys. But uh, anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.